So here's where I'm at on my workbench. <clears throat> We've got a piece of wood sanded and smoothed and pre-drilled, attached to the wall, hinged with my plywood platform, trimmed out with wood around the bottom sanded, drilled, and pre-drilled, and all that. I'm going with wooden supports. I might change that in the future. I'm going to add in two more. I have these two pieces ready, and I'm going to put them up in this corner. The same as this. It'll look the same as what this is, but just added supports and it's you know it's pretty sturdy with just one support but I might want as many as four so I'll just make it and it'll be ready uh, for the bed I ordered some locking 90 degree hinges from Amazon and they'll be here in a day or two uh, I was going to just use regular hinges on, on my support panels, but I decided to spend the money on uh, locking hinges just for ease of use. And, uh, you know, it's twice the cost of normal hinges, but it is what it is. No worries. So once that comes, I'll working on the bed again. So I'm going to finish up this... Uh, workbench today and probably get started on moving and modifying this top shelf for the cooking area that needs to be there. Got my two outside supports put up and uh, started thinking about the forward shelves. So in order to put my vent fan here and my cooking here, I want to take out part of this shelf. Looking at it, you know, there's a board and then another board and then another board. I don't know if he's glued them together or anything, possibly. But I guess I'll just start taking it apart. It's got to move up and uh, be notched. out these staples to reuse that
All right, time to think. Really does, really does need to move up at least another inch or two just to give me clearance for my stove. fits all right I've got that shelf completely removed and uh, so <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go up to about 20 inches so his shelf was uh, you know, 18 inches or 17 and a half, 17 and three eighths or whatever it was, but mine's going to be about 20. We've got, we've got, you know, 40 inches basically to the ceiling. And, uh, so yeah, I think 20 inch shelf, that'll clear. Let's, let's double check. All right. So I'm going to go 20 inches on the shelf to the bottom of the shelf mm -hmm. which is plenty of room to get the stove in and out you know if I want to slide the stove back and do something right here I can do that but that's the plan uh, I'm gonna have to clean up some of this wood and redo the ledger board around the edge So I spent some time pulling staples out of some of this uh, wood to reuse it. And uh, I put in a scribe line at 20 inches. So the top of my ledger board will go there, which will be the bottom of the shelf. Took a little while to pull out all those staples. They don't like to come out. This is a good tool for pulling staples and nails. I like that tool. So I have my ledger board pieced in and it's time to start putting back the shelving. I want to scribe it in a little bit better than what it was so that I don't need to have double ledger board. So I've put a scribe line on there and I'm going to trim that out. new tool out jigsaw
Well, that's what the top shelf looks like now. Now, I've been thinking what to do about rebuilding it, notching it out for the stove, how to support it. And that's really the question. So what I plan to do here is I'm going to notch this this board completely through. All right. So it's going to be a, a board on this side and a board on this side, and this part will be gone. I'm going to take the board that I cut out and put it like this. This is 11 and a quarter inches, so it'll be 11 and a quarter inches tall. So that'll keep any storage items that are up there from falling in on the stove. All right, and then I'll need something for the sides. I don't know if I just want something small or something tall. We'll find out. Now, because this will not be continuous, I'll have to support it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a board underneath something like that, a little bit shorter, and then support that board with an upright right here. So I'll be able to uh, mount that from the bottom and it will support this board. And I'll also have one that comes out on here like it, like it used to, just like this, but it'll end here. And that will give me the width of the stove directly above it to get to the, uh, to the vent. And I'll still be able to uh, move the stove backwards. get it out of the way to use this area as a workspace. So that's the idea after about a couple hours of thinking about it. So uh, I might change it but for now that's what it's going to look like. It's about 8 o'clock at night, though it's not quite night yet. This is where I'm at. Not sure 
what to use as like a, a stop across here. I was going to use the whole board, but I think it's too tall. Um, so I have this chunk of board right here that I cut out of there. And so I could, I could cut that maybe in half and put half of it up here five and a half inches or something and then the other two pieces five and a half inches up up on either side perhaps and then this shorter material on the front like the other shelves but uh, that's all I'm going to get done today I'll get get going on it tomorrow again Thank you.